Hello students. In this video, I will discuss the chapter wise mark distribution as per CBSE. This blueprint will give you a detailed idea of what is important and on what you should focus more. It will save your time and will help you in achieving the maximum score in your exams. So the first chapter, real numbers, from real numbers, 1 1 mark question, 1 2 mark question, 1 3 mark question, a total 6 mark question will be asked. From the polynomial, only one question for 3 mark will be asked. From a pair of linear equation, you have 1 2 mark question, 1 3 mark question and total of 5 marks will be asked. <coughs> From the lesson quadratic equation, 1 1 mark question and 1 4 mark question will be asked. From arithmetic progression, 1 1 mark, 1 2 mark and 1 4 mark, total 7 marks question will be asked. From the lesson triangles, 1 1 mark, 1 3 mark, 1 4 mark, total of 8 mark question will be asked. From the lesson coordinate geometry, 1 question for 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 mark will be asked. From introduction to trigonometry, 1 question for 1 mark, 3 mark and 4 mark will be asked. So, total 8 marks question will be asked. Same way, in the applications of trigonometry, you have 1 question for 4 marks. From circle, 1 question of 3 mark. From construction, 1 construction will be asked for 4 marks. From areas related to circle, 1 question for 3 mark. Surface area and volume, 1 question for 3 mark and 1 question for 4 mark. Total 7 marks question will be asked. From the lesson statistics, 1 question for 3 mark, 1 question for 4 mark. So total 7 questions, 7 mark question will be asked. From the lesson probability, 2 questions of 2 mark will be asked. So the lesson triangle is very important. Then arithmetic progression, surface area and volume, statistics. These are very important lesson and you can study these to score good marks. I have also solved important question from each chapter. You can watch those videos at SG Math Club at YouTube. So thank you for watching these videos. If you like my videos, please subscribe.